Welcome to the Chateau de Lalande, a 16th century chateau in the heart of France. Join us each day of Advent as we get this 19 bedroom home ready for Christmas. We'll be cooking, decorating and discovering Christmas traditions from all over the world. Welcome to Christmas at Lalande. Hello and welcome to a very exciting day of Advent here at the Chateau because I can finally reveal the thing that a lot amongst you spotted in our intro which is that there is a strange structure in the courtyard of the chateau. And I couldn't talk about it until today because that has been shown on British TV this afternoon. So I can show all of you this evening. As many of you know, we have been planning the future gardens for Lalande with Davy, the garden designer, and we have fantastic ideas for the whole garden, but we're starting by focusing on the walled garden and on the courtyard. And the next step for the courtyard was to put in a huge structure to hold espaliered lime trees, which will go in a square formation around the fountain. This is a very, very big project. And we finally got not only the structure, but also the trees. And I'm going to go back in time now and show you things as they progressed. We're in the midst of filming for the Chateau DIY Christmas special, where we're going to be decorating the whole exterior of the chateau. And as part of that, Dan and Amory, and strangely and wonderfully, Amory from Castle Tenbecher as well, who's come to visit, is just helping out. Getting the courtyard ready for, well, Davy's most ambitious scheme and probably his most controversial, which is putting a square of lime trees, beautifully espaliered as they are in French parks, like in Paris, you probably, many of you will have seen them there. Uh, around the fountain and around the box hedges. So they're going to be four meters high, it's really tall, and it's going to completely change the view of the chateau. But I think go big or go home, let's try it. The very, very worst case scenario is that we don't like it and we move the trees somewhere else. But I think we're going to like it. I'm pretty much alone in thinking that here, but I think we're going to like it. How's it going, Dan? Very well. You must be happy to see that at least today I've got to be out in the rain as well. It does make me feel a little bit better, yeah. Yeah. I won't lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard actually to dig these holes. Yeah. You knew it would be, but. Yeah, look, I can see Amory with the auger. It's the Amory team. Double Amory trouble. Hi. <laughs> I can't believe you somehow started helping out in the freezing cold. Yeah, we some good days. Two days, yeah. Well, it looks like you're going to get the whole thing finished by then. <laughs> this is amazing. So, you're happy to have your helper, your namesake? Namesake, yeah. Yeah. What can one not achieve with two Amory's? <laughs> and especially, it's a for one and then you have two. <laughs> this is amazing. So this is the holes you're drilling to put the posts in. And that's what the auger was for? Yeah, but not for this one. It's just for the granite. Granite. Oh, I'm so sorry, Amory. What a nightmare. No, it is what it is. It's work, isn't it? It's just... Everything's always harder than you think it's going to be it's in this so place. It's not so much that. You just expect that. It's the time. Yeah. Time pressure. Time. Yeah. But hey, all right. We'll get it done. Good luck. And that day, aside from Kirsty, the two Amrys and Dan working so hard in the courtyard getting those posts in, we also had to find a Christmas tree for the courtyard. But luckily, we had Nick, the tree surgeon, and he searched the forest to find the perfect one. Christmas tree. I'll yeah. Find Christmas tree. Go on, find us well, the best Christmas tree. Best what? Who's your name? Does he sniff them out? Sniffs out a good Christmas tree? Yeah, hey, sniff rats and mice out at the moment. And moles. <laughs> okay, forget the moles, find the tree. Go on. Good luck. Hey. Has he found one? No, not good enough? Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper into the forest. Oh, look at you go, Mr. Forestry Genius. Just saying. I know some things. Yeah, that one's nice. Just chill. So th this is the tree, yeah? Yeah, we're going to go for That's that the one. one. That's a good tree. There. I will see if I can find anything else, but just walking yeah. around this. Easy to extract from there. Yeah. In fact, we'll be able to carry, likely be able to carry that out. Great. To a degree. Love it. All right, I'll see yeah. you later. Yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. This is it. Nick is going to cut it down. It's so nice it's coming from the woods. Oh. Oh. 
Time for his big moment. Jerry's very excited. Trees down. It's looking amazing. The dream team have been called to help carry the tree. Dan is delighted. You look like Gollum. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, that's me. That's lighting my mood straight away now. Thanks. <laughs> We're all freezing and Amory seems to think it's t-shirt weather. Why is Amory in a t-shirt? We had two days with the film crew to complete all of the structure in the courtyard, to decorate the courtyard ready for Christmas and to have a little Christmas party in it. That was all filmed for British TV. But it was such hard work because we had the worst weather and for those two days it did not stop raining and poor Amory and Dan were just drowned rats. So, uh, have a go. Oh, I did have a go. I had a great time. It's nice and dry when you're inside the digger. I think that was your mistake. Better to be inside the digger. Hmm, I feel like we didn't get the correct end of the deal on this. No. As oh. always, promise, promises. Have you got the union's number? Yeah. <laughs> it's direct. They never I... answer to me. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how did it go? Did Miserable. Well, great for you two. Yeah. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been tough in the kitchen, but someone had to man it. Yeah, well, that is the. Yeah, I found out that my the coat wettest is that I have been filming. For is it? We're probably about three years. Oh no! Oh no! You poor things. I think tea is in order. Tea is yeah. definitely in order. Yeah. I love teasing Dan and Amory, but I have to say that they are so unbelievably hardworking and we could not have done it without them or Kirsty. They did not stop until late at night in the rain and the next morning I woke up to see all of the posts in place. I have just woken up on the first day after all of the posts were erected in the courtyard and so together we are going to see how it changes my view of the courtyard for the first time. I'm a little bit worried because obviously there's no trees so it's just a ton of poles in the garden and a Christmas tree though which won't be there in future but might be kind of nice now. Oh my goodness this is crazy. This Oh. So the actual trees I think will be between the posts on the corners. So this whole middle section between these two posts will be clear. So I'll still have the view of the fountain and the box hedging. There's the film crew. I've got to go down in a sec. Well, they need me in an hour and a half where they're taking general views of the chateau now. In fact, I better get out of their way. Love you. Look at that, down the mat. Arriving first thing in the morning, surgically attached to his digger. Ah, oh, this is the new travel coming in. I love it. I can't wait to see it when the trees arrive. But today we are going to decorate it for Christmas. So it's going to be an epic day of putting up fairy lights and then tonight we'll have a Christmas party. Oh my goodness, what are they thinking? I'm gonna have to get a cherry picker just to stop my cousin from doing this. This is madness. Michael Potts, I see, taking a very safe position there, documenting, hopefully not the fall. Oh my goodness. When my aunt sees, she will go ballistic. Henry's going to get a phone call. Back in real time, my aunt has just seen that footage for the first time. <laughs> just to stop my cousin from doing this, this is mad. Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness, I'm oh my goodness. I am up. Absolutely shocked that two clever people should be so not clever and should take such a risk for just putting lights. lights. She doesn't mean Dan and Amory, she means me no, and Amory. I mean, I mean you and Amory, yes. Because mm. I went up as well. Never again. Never again. Never again. No, never again. Cherry picking. Actually. Never again. Yeah. Amory's pretty lucky because he's out doing Christmas shopping at the moment. You just see it. Well, I will say to you not to do that ever again in the future. That's for sure. Well, I'm going to say the film that we did the other week, health and safety was just... No, I, I can't. Well, when people that, see that, I will The most yeah. brilliant thing was we were growing bush and, he was like, and we were like, I said to the camera crew, should we be wearing eye protection? He was like, no, no, it's up to you. And I was like, all right, so we did it. Yeah. He got a text a couple of hours later from his mum. If you're on the TV, make sure you wear all the PPE and eye protection if ever you're doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. So, God knows the fallout that's going to happen. Yeah. The health and safety of that one. 
The problem was, Tatinette, that your text, you see, arrived too late. But I should not even have <laughs> had to send the text. I, I would have thought my son was a bit more cleverer than this. <laughs> And well, he should have known. He was clever enough to get the entire courtyard finished, ready in time for the party that we filmed for British TV. We all went out there. Jerry and I had spent the day picking chestnuts and Jerry was in charge of roasting the chestnuts for everybody. It was really, really good fun. And I will show you that now. Oh, it's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, welcome, Michael. Fourth one. There's only six left. Come on now, six. The last six. <laughs> six to go. Come. come on, roll up, roll up. <laughs> chestnut, six going free. Anyone for a chestnut? Chestnut, please, please. Oh. Help out, help out. Come on, don't be shy, young man. Come forward. <laughs> now, where would you like? Two, four, or six? Two. Are you sure? <laughs> You're welcome to have three. Are you sure? Two. Now, once you get them, you'll be coming straight back for the rest. I can assure you, you're going to tell all your friends, hurry up. <laughs> so when it came time for the big Christmas party reveal, we had the posts, we had the lights. We didn't have the trees because the trees were over a month late because we have had one of the warmest autumns on record and the trees lost their leaves a month later than expected and they can only be sent when they're completely bare. They were coming all the way from Belgium and it's hard to transport such large trees so we wanted to make sure that they're arriving at a perfect time for them. Wow, 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 this is it. This is the moment that we have been waiting for. The trees for the courtyard are arriving all the way from Belgium and there's Davy going out to greet them. Oh, I'm gonna get out there as quickly as possible. Why is Dan in the digger? To lift the trees, probably. The root balls would be quite heavy. I think he saw an opportunity, jumped in that thing. He loves the thing. So. He loves it. As he's a bionic man, it's an extension of his body. I think that's top speed, isn't it? Now this is a big moment. This is the first of the espaliered lime trees for the courtyard coming out. So they've been pre-espaliered. Quite a delicate operation to get these out without damaging them. Poor trees have had an awfully big adventure. There they were, minding their own business in Belgium. You're scared that we're going to accidentally ring bark it, Davy. Yeah. Yes, we're having difficulties with this one. Too heavy, one engine. Yeah. That's like a giant lollipop. One out was a pretty scary journey. I hope the others go a little bit smoother. Here comes number two. There are eight of those all together. These lovely espalier trees. It's going to be beautiful. I mean, the transformation's happening so quickly to this courtyard. Well, I wonder if that wire is going to hold. Hmm. Just keep on going, mate. Not convinced. Yeah, we're going to see if it might just. Uh, yeah, that's not going to no, hold. Nah, it doesn't work. Where? It's a sheep. Yeah. Well done, Cuz. As always, you and Dan are the dream team. He was great as well. He was superb and yeah, he was accommodating. The, the Amazing. A lot of the time it's like, well, that's not my problem, just get it off my lorry. Yeah, and I'm yeah, gone. no, he was absolutely lovely. Oh, oh see, beautiful. Dan's already got a new toy. Hard to know whether Matt's son or Dan are more excited. It's a toss up. So it was only after we finished for Channel 4 that the trees actually arrived and we managed to put them in place. And we can show you that now. Davy was here and he was helping to plant with Dan. It was a very, very exciting time at La Land. Whoa, exciting things are going on outside today. All of the peacocks are extremely curious about this. Morning, Davy. Looking good. The first one in. What a beautiful morning. 
warm ones here. It is, it's actually really warm, yeah. yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, planting trees at Lalande requires a digger. That goes without saying, I think. How excited are you, Davy? Very. <laughs> Number six. They are going to be so very beautiful. Do you like it, Dan? Yeah, I do actually. I'm really can't. I can't yeah. wait till the spring when we start to see green. Yeah, it'll thin it out really quickly. If you look at a branch like this, this is two years of growth. Two years. So that it's one. one year from this point to that one. Oh, that's a whole year. Yeah, and then the the, 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 the last yes. year with this one to beyond where they cut it off. Okay. So, so next year. It will be pretty much where that tower is. It should, it, it should okay. go all the way to halfway between yeah. this point and the post. And then a year later, it might have got to the end. Yeah. Oh, I love it. For most of them, yeah. What a change it's going to be. Yeah. Probably the tiny ones won't make it because they have less power. Yes. It will take a little bit longer. But the thicker ones will. Well, the top one is from the central branch all the way to the end one year of growth so amazing and suddenly you're going to become an espaliering expert why not and, and the digger's going to become an espaliering expert too yeah so it's, it's a joint venture for all of us yeah <laughs> <laughs> why isn't the digger doing this bit dan uh um, why are you actually digging on camera that's all oh fair yeah. enough no yeah. i understand davy said to me before this well, all trees I normally plant this size, I just dig them by hand. And I did one scoop with the digger and I went, fancy digging that by hand? <laughs> it was just like rock. Yeah. I've, I've never done a garden this complicated. Yeah, it's just rocks. We're just pulling rocks out of the ground yeah. here. Yeah. Best Have buy you... I ever made that digger. I'm glad I persuaded you we needed it, Dan. Yeah, I know. I was dubious. I can't see how we could make our money back on it, but now. <laughs> Now we use it every day. I think probably it was a good idea of yours. The dumper idea is better, actually. Find the dumper. Don't yeah. even start. I want it known that this is a ceremonial um, shovel load of soil. I will not be doing a second. <laughs> I help plant the trees in the courtyard. Oh, go on, I'll do a second. <laughs> it's actually quite good fun. I declare this garden open! <laughs> <laughs> I want a ribbon to cut. There's one tied to the tree. We can extend it to one of the posts. <laughs> oh, no, that's not soil. That is rock. So now I can finally reveal to you all the full structure covered in Christmas lights and it's what we see whenever we look out of any of the chateau windows at night and it is so heartwarming. Here is the courtyard. And not only do we have these beautiful lights but it has genuinely started snowing in the courtyard for real and I could cry. It is so perfect and beautiful. Merry Christmas everybody. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds In fields as they lay In fields where they lay Keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night That was so deep Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. Christmas has really come to Lalanne now.